Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of me trying to read all of the books that I should have read like 10 years ago. Yes, this video has been in my mind for a long time. I've mentioned it and I think you guys were excited about it So I'm finally going to get around to doing it and that is reading the Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi for the very first time and I am very excited about doing this. So my original plan for this video was to just read the first book in the Shatter Me series but I quickly realized it's very short and I wanted to challenge myself just a little bit more so I'm gonna be reading five books in this vlog which one to five is quite the jump, but it'll be fine. I'm also gonna see if I can do it this week. So five books, five days. We'll see how that goes. So the five books that I'm going to be reading in this video are Shatter Me, yes, Destroy Me, which is a novella, Unravel Me, Fracture Me, which is the other novella, and Ignite Me. Those are the reading plans for this week. We will see if I can get through them. I have no idea, honestly. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a ride, but I'm very excited about it. However, the first thing that needs to happen in this vlog is to go do a wee bit of book buying because I only have the first one in the series. So I'm gonna go buy the second and third ones and I'm gonna read the novellas either from the library, like as a physical book or an ebook. It depends on if my hold comes in in time, but I am gonna go pick up the other two that I need to read just because an excuse to buy books? Yes, please. I'm gonna run to Barnes & Noble real fast, pick those up, and then my goal for today is to get the first one read. Yes, I feel like one a day would probably be ideal, but we'll see how that goes. Let's go do some book shopping real fast. So that um, wasn't as successful as I was hoping it would be because I thought they had Ignite Me. They did not. They did have Unravel Me and they were doing a buy one get one 50% off and then I saw another book on the table that I've been needing. So I, I also got Tower of Dawn. <laughs> I did not want to go in there and buy a book that was not in this series, but here we are. It's fine. I need to find Ignite Me somewhere. Maybe I'll read the first two and see if I like, like the series first. <laughs> And then I'll figure out if I'm going to buy the third. I was gonna buy the novellas, but then it was like 14 bucks for like a book this big. I was like, absolutely not, but that's my hot take for the day. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start reading Shatter Me now. All right, after a very um, exhausting day of doing absolutely nothing and avoiding starting <laughs> this reading vlog just because I'm lazy, um, it's like eight now. I've gotten into my comfy clothes and we are going to start Shatter Me. My original goal was to finish this book today. I, however, do not foresee that happening unless this is just like the most interesting book on the planet. I do not think I'm going to be able to stay up and finish it. So I'm gonna get as far as I can. I think I forgot to mention that this video is going to have heavy spoilers in it. Like I'm gonna be talking about everything that happens in these first five books here just because it's more fun that way so there's your spoiler warning i just don't want to ruin this series for those of you who maybe have not read it yet and don't want to know anything about it because i know i would be super sad if i had a bunch of stuff spoiled for me so here is the official spoiler warning and yeah now now we're gonna get into it on page five now. <laughs> I've made it to chapter two, which opens on our main character, who I think her name is Juliet, even though it hasn't been said yet. She is in a prison kind of containment center, shall we say? I guess it's not really prison. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. And they have given her a cellmate, who is a boy, and she is freaking out. Um, probably rightfully so, because if you're shoved in this room for 264 days and suddenly, a random man is assigned to your room. I feel like that could be concerning. But he also stole her bed. Kind of rude. The thing I find interesting already is the writing. I like her writing in this first four pages. 
but there's a bunch of bits of it that are like crossed out and I don't know why. But it is interesting. I've never read a book like this before, I don't think. Um, before you roast me, I just went back and I read like the little Dear Reader thing at the beginning, which explains the strike throughs. And actually, after having her explain it to me, I think it's even cooler that it shows like the change that our main character is gonna go through. And based on that fact alone, I have high hopes for Tahara Mafi's writing, so. chapter 9 now which is page 50 and the betrayal that I have just beheld apparently Adam is a soldier I mean I don't really know what that entails um I feel like this book really just throws you into something and it's like eh, you can figure it out but honestly it makes me kind of sad that Juliet got betrayed so early in the book we're only 50 pages in and I'm already feeling bad for her but they have a proposition for her I don't really know what to do with this information though because there's this guy named Adam who was in the cell with her and then there's I don't know, some head dude of the, I don't know, he like leads the soldiers, his name is Warner. And I think she gets with one of them, but I don't know which one it is. But it's good that I don't know which one it is, but I feel like it, they have a love triangle maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I have like vague ideas of what happens, but like nothing concrete, which is again, good. I am interested to see how this is going to pan out and I'm excited to read more. A side note here, I haven't read a dystopian in such a long time. Like, I don't think I've read one since they were like actually popular in like 2012, 2013 is probably the last time I read one. So this is kind of fun because it brings me back to those days. Um, the good days, reading Divergent, the Hunger Games, come on now. I really like Tahara Mafi's writing style and how she is writing what Juliet is writing. I think it's fascinating and I'm really excited to see how it develops over the series as she becomes more stable. And I just think it's gonna be really good, so. Hello all, it is later. I have made some progress in Shatter Me. I am now up to page 136, which is chapter 24. And things have happened, I think, since the last time I talked to you. I honestly don't remember what I told you in the last update. Already, this book honestly has like sucked me in and I just feel like I've been living this hell. And it's not fun, but like, it's really good. But it's kind of scary. I don't know. Anyway, Juliet got taken to the, the compound, whatever the hell it is, I don't know what it's called. And she met Warner, who I really thought was a love interest like I thought there was kind of like a love triangle which I think there is and I think he's the other part of it but he seems like a psychopath I really hope for her sake that's not it because he is infuriating I cannot stand this man I he's literally insane how is he a part of the love triangle I really hope he's not but like what are the other options here I guess I'm pulling for Adam but I just feel I don't I don't trust any of these men right now, so like, I don't know. We also learned that Juliet can touch Adam without killing him, which, you know, is always good in a relationship. And then the only thing that's really happened since then is Juliet watching Warner be insane. Yeah, good times. Honestly, the world that this is set in is so depressing. Like, this is why I think I stopped reading dystopian books because it's just so sad. And like, that's the point, but it's like, you know, you have this big like war on the horizon and you look around you and like the earth is dead, the animals are dead, the birds don't even fly, but at least in like a fantasy book when everything's going to shit, it still looks nice. You know, you have like flowers, dragons, whatever the hell, but in here, it's just so sad. However, I am enjoying it a lot. I really want to know what happens next. I'm very intrigued. The writing is just so easy to read and it's really good too. And I just, I just can't believe it's taken me this long to get to this series. I feel like I say that about every series that takes me a long time to get to, but 
there are just so many good series in the world and I don't have enough time for that but I'm glad that I decided to pick up this one this week so I'm gonna read just a little bit more tonight probably not too much because I am tired but I will update you guys with more thoughts tomorrow okay I know I said I wasn't gonna update you until tomorrow but I lied because I started reading and I can't stop again also Fritz has joined me anyway many questionable things have happened Adam told Juliet that he loved her and we're only 180 pages into the book and I don't know if I can trust this man. I want to, but he concerns me. And now they're trying to make a break for it and they have Warner held at gunpoint. And at this point I'm like, what's going on? And Warner's out here telling Juliet not to trust Adam. And I'm like, why would I trust Warner? But then I'm like, why would I trust Adam? I just, I don't know. I just, it seems too easy. And I can't tell if it's because it's a YA book written like 10 years ago or if like I shouldn't trust this man you know I'm gonna keep reading and maybe I'll see you later maybe I'll see you tomorrow guess who's here <laughs> no I will not stop mentioning every time Fritz is in the background of any of my shots it's what she deserves made a lot of progress last night with shatter me i know last night i was like there's no way i'm gonna finish this book unless it's like the best thing ever and while it's not the best thing ever it is so entertaining <laughs> i'm on page 250 now and there's only like 330 pages in the book so i didn't quite finish it but i'm gonna obviously finish it today and then hopefully i can finish whatever the next novella i'm supposed to read is today that's the goal we shall see however things have happened. My only um, qualm with this book is that they're happening very fast and it all seems too, like way too easy. Juliet and Adam escaped wherever Juliet was being held and it just, it happened so quickly and so easily and they were chased for like a little bit but then they lost them but I'm like, if these are trained soldiers trying to chase after like two people, one of them who's like not a trained soldier, how are they not gonna catch them? It's not that I want them to catch them, but like, it just seems so easy. And it scares me that it's so easy. And another thing that's happening too quickly is this love story. Love story. I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like every time they talk about how they feel about each other, it just keeps growing more and more and more in this like very short span of time. Because originally it's just like, oh, I always wanted to be your friend in school. 50 pages later, oh, I love you. 50 pages later, we need to run away and be together forever. I don't know if I like can't trust him or if it's just the way that it's written and I'm just supposed to believe that they now love each other after, you know, knowing each other for like two weeks. I mean, I know they've known each other for longer than two weeks, but they never talked before. I just, that's like my only qualm with this book because other than that, it is very interesting. My camera's about to die, so I will update you guys in a minute. Okay, so it is a lot later, but my camera battery was all types of dead. So there was no way I was going to be able to continue the update I was filming at that point in time. But it's later, and now is that time. The last thing from the update that I was going to say is that we found out that Warner can also touch Juliet without, like, dying. Which is incredibly interesting, and I really just want to know why the two of them. I'm very intrigued. So I'm going to finish this up this afternoon. I only have, like, 80 pages left, so... I'm excited to see what the ending of this book is going to be like, and I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. <laughs> Honestly, Juliet's like kind of a bad bitch every now and then. <laughs> she literally... I think she just shot Warner, which I can respect. Like, that's pretty badass. That man is- I do not like him at all. Like, I don't know if he gets some sort of redemption arc here, but I really hope he does not. I just finished Shatter Me. They went to this place called Omega Point where I think they're safe. 
I want to trust them, but I just like I know how these kind of stories go and like maybe it's not gonna go that way but I just I just don't know about these people yet but I do find it interesting because we are finally seeing other people who have abilities and we learned that Kenji which by the way I love Kenji so much already um he can like disappear or like blend into the background which is really interesting there's another guy who can like stretch himself but I really like that Juliet finally gets to be around people who also have abilities and she can stop thinking of herself as a monster 24 7 because you know that can't be good for the old mental health so happy for her I think I'm gonna give this book a four stars because I did really enjoy it it is such a fast read it's very like action-packed I feel like something is always happening in this 330 pages and I personally didn't get bored. Personally, I couldn't put it down. I just kept going. I always wanted to know what happened next and I think I read it in the span of two sittings. So, it was a good time. Very fast paced. Very, very 2011 YA. Like, if you go into it with that mindset that like this was written 11 years ago and it's gonna be different than like what is being put out now, it's just a lot of fun, honestly. The only reason why I am going to give it a four star instead of a five star is because of the romance. And the thing is, I I like Adam and I like Adam and Juliet together. Their love story was, if you can even call it that, it's so quick. It's so insta love and I it's just, they're so intense about each other already and it's only a 330 page book. And it's just too much. I know they knew each other before, but like not really. That's the only reason I'm knocking it a star because it's kind of dumb. But aside from that, it was good. So the next thing I'm going to be reading is one of the novellas and it's called Destroy Me. And I'm not excited about it because it's from the perspective of Warner and I don't like Warner. It's fine. We'll see what I think of it. I'm really excited to jump to the second one though, so hopefully I can finish this novella quickly. I will be very interested to see how this novella changes my opinion of Warner, if it does at all. I don't really know if it's like a backstory or if it's like a side story. I would assume it's a backstory, probably. Right now, I think he's creepy and I think he's kind of psychotic, but I'll be interested to see if, um, if this changes my mind at all. Okay, so I have read about 28% of, what is this one called? Destroy Me. So far this book is focusing on the after effects of Warner being shot by Juliet and his dad came to like visit him. And I see why Warner is the way he is. It doesn't excuse it, but I do feel very bad for him because you can see that this is all a product of how his father has probably treated him his entire life. and. It makes me sad, but I'm still like not Team Warner, you know, like not here for it yet. Um, maybe I will be at some point, but I don't, I don't see it happening, you know. But it does make things make sense, so yeah. I'm gonna get back into it. Hello, everybody. It's the next day, and I have a couple of reading updates for you. Actually, I finished Destroy Me last night, and damn it, I don't hate Warner anymore. I don't necessarily like him, but like at this point, I'm thinking maybe he does deserve some rights. I just, oh, Fritz wants it. I'm not gonna pick her up because she doesn't like it when I do that, but she's just walking around. Anyway, what else happened? So I guess the focus of this novella was to show people that he's not like the worst person ever. And I agree, I guess, that he's not the worst person ever because you see that he actually goes to like check on the people in this sector that they're living in and he cares about them. And the soldier that he shot in the first book was actually like, abusing his family which is still like drastic that he like actually shot and killed him in front of like so many people but like it's making him seem like not completely a psycho <laughs> so i still don't really like him as a love interest though because he is like very creepily obsessed with juliet and he started 
Fritz, I just <laughs> let you in here. At one point in the story, he found the notebook that Juliet left behind and these very private and intimate thoughts that she was writing while she was in like this very awful situation. He was like reading and I, it just felt like kind of weird. And that's where I'm at with Warner. I... I don't want to like him and I really didn't want to like him, but I don't mind him now that I've gotten this like side story. Also, I wasn't planning on starting Unravel Me until this morning, but there was a tornado warning last night, which was absolutely terrifying. It didn't happen, thankfully, but I was still up at like 2 a.m. The sirens went off. It was all good, but I was very awake. So I started reading some of Unravel Me and I think I got to, I made it to page 28 and I don't remember anything about it because it was 2 a.m. So I, I got nothing. So these first 30 or so pages have really just been talking about Juliet and Adam's time at Omega Point and how she doesn't really like it. Also, all the people there don't really seem to like Juliet. She gets a lot of like stares from parents and like they're pulling their children away from her, which like I guess makes sense because she did accidentally murder a child at one point. Still, she's wearing she's wearing this suit now, which should like help with that. So I don't know. I just don't really like the people at Omega Point that much. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I still really like Kenji and I think he's going to start working with her on harnessing her energy whatever the hell that means so there's where i'm at with unravel me this one is longer than shatter me by i think like a hundred or so pages but i still think i can finish this today my goal is to finish it today because we're doing like the one book a day thing and then i'd like to start fracture me which i think is the novella that focuses on adam just because i want to like make a decision about adam whether or not i trust this man or not i still can't tell <sighs> i don't know how i feel about any of the people in this series honestly page 76. Juliet got very upset because they're running some tests on Adam and she lost her shit. She literally created a fissure in the earth with her fist because she was so upset. These two are just too much. They are so intense about each other and it's getting on my nerves. But the interesting thing is that Adam has something that he needs to tell Juliet about like I don't know if he has abilities or if it's a, a lack of abilities. I don't know what the deal is, but he hasn't told her yet. And the lack of communication also is getting on my nerves. I just can't with the two of them. But Kenji, who um, I'm now considering my favorite character in these books thus far, came to put Juliet in her place as someone needed to because she was getting on my nerves too. And I think now maybe she's going to calm down for once. I do really like seeing how Juliet is choosing to cope with the knowledge of her power now. I'm not saying she's coping with it well, um, but it is interesting to see like how it is affecting her mentally and you can kind of see her like regressing a bit. Apparently she doesn't like engage with people at Omega Point or really talk to anybody aside from Adam and sometimes Kenji and I think that's gonna change now, hopefully. We can only help because, girl, that's not good. Juliet kind of scares me. I feel like she could literally destroy anything and, um, you know, kind of a girl boss, but a scary girl boss, so. Okay, it's a couple of pages later and we just found out that Adam does have, like, an ability. I still don't under completely understand what exactly it is. It makes him, like, immune. No, I'm not gonna do it justice explaining it, but you all know what I mean. But his ability is the reason that he can touch Juliet without like, you know, dying. And if he like forgets to do it or if he thinks about it too much, she could hurt him and potentially kill him. And I love the angst in this relationship because they had it too good, honestly. I really, I'm excited to like know why that's happening but i'm even more excited to find out why warner can also touch her without dying and i'm so excited to read more because i just really want to know developments 
are happening. Hello all, oh, I'm on page 148 now. And can I just talk about the construction of these books for a second here? They feel so nice and they're so bendy and I love them. Like, I d just holding it is nice. Juliet finally got to leave the compound and while she was out, she saw Warner and she's having too many thoughts about Warner right now. I don't like it. But the thing that I did really like in the last chapter is that Kenji yelled at her because she was getting annoying. He told her to stop being selfish and only thinking about her and everybody else has problems in their life too. And I was like, yes. I think somebody needed to give her a reality check and I think he just did it. And this is why we love Kenji. I can't, but I really haven't read that much. I'm gonna read some more. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see it all go to shit because I know it will. So yeah. So I finally made it up to the halfway point of Unravel Me and things are going down. Warner's dad took four of the people from Omega Point hostage and he is offering to trade them for Juliet. And considering she like has a death wish right now because she's so sad that her and Adam can't be together. She did it, obviously. I don't know if I've even said this, but her and Adam broke up and then like, boo hoo, I don't even care to be honest. She's sitting in this house talking with Warner's dad and Adam and Kenji are there somewhere. I don't know where they are, just chilling, being invisible, whatever. Warner's there and honestly, I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm kind of excited to see him. Like he was in the book like once, like just for a little bit, but I've kind of missed him. He really adds such an interesting element to the story and I don't know if I like him as a love interest but I do really like him as a character so. When I was looking up what order I should read these books in I, I saw a spoiler and I think Omega Point gets destroyed at the end of this book which is very unfortunate. I guess we'll see how that happens so. I love spoiling book series for myself. Anyway, I will talk to you guys after I've made some more progress with Unravel Me. <laughs> the sentence that I have just read, it has not been that long, but Juliet shot Warner's dad in both legs, which, you know, good for her, finally letting out some of that pent up anger, but Adam came in and he was like, that man is my father. And I was like, what? <laughs> You're telling me that Adam and Warner are brothers? You know what? That would make sense. Because they're both- do they have the same ability, do you think? Well, I'm sure you know, but I don't know. Oh, that's interesting because the twins who are in Omega Point, they have the same ability. Well, kind of. It's kind of different, isn't it, I guess? I don't know. I'm thinking out loud here, but wow. What a twist. I feel like I should have seen this going, but I really did not. <laughs> And Adam thought his dad was dead. Oh my god, that's gonna cause some some deep rooted issues. You know, it makes sense. Oh. information this last chapter these last couple chapters i just don't know also this is not like relevant to that but he has a tattoo that says ignite yes and the third book is called ignite me are they end game i have no clue but now i'm kind of really excited to see how the tables have turned um i'm not quite there yet but i think think I think I like him. I didn't expect this. I'm on page 360 now and if Kenji dies I, li I feel like he doesn't but 
if he does i will riot and not continue this series like that's how strongly i feel about this it, they, he, i didn't oh, i don't know i don't know i guess i should just find out we just learned that warner does indeed have a power and he can like use other people's powers they keep talking about energies and i have no idea what the hell that means but like he was able to like transfer juliet's power to kenji which i don't think kenji's gonna die so it, it's all good don't worry warner and juliet are having a chat in this dark hallway and i think something good's about to happen so i don't want to say it i don't want to say it but i kind of like them together um didn't think it would happen but here we are oh i've eh, i've been known to be wrong bro adam needs to go somewhere i'm sick of him these two <laughs> the angst in this book right now is at an all-time high and like i'm kind of living for it but also i'm not i just oh my god okay so i just finished unravel me throughout like the first two-thirds of the book i was thinking i was gonna give it a three stars but i think i'm gonna give it a four stars just for warner i will admit i was wrong not about him because he is still kind of psychotic but i really like him now and i really like him and juliet together and i can't believe i didn't see it before unfortunate that it took me this long but we are kind of left with a lot of questions obviously because this is the second book in the series and towards the end juliet got captured and then anderson shot her and then warner used his abilities along with sonia and sarah to heal her which is kind of sick honestly that like that's something that he can do with his powers like that's really cool but we don't know where adam is or where kenji is could be dead um if either of them are dead i will riot honestly like i don't care that much about adam anymore i just feel like his character development has been like very neglected over these last two books and he feels very flat like, I feel like I don't know much about him, but there's a lot of character development for Warner, especially in this book, which I'm is definitely, like, why I am now a fan. I'm even interested in the plot, like, kind of. It's not my favorite thing. I'm not really, like, a huge dystopian fan, but it reminds me of the books I used to read, which is fun. And I feel like it's interesting enough, and I really like the, the angst in the romances, like, it's just so good and any series that has a romance in it i will rate higher than series without romances they just add such a such a nice touch in my opinion but i loved the writing her writing is very different to anything i have encountered thus far like the extreme use of metaphors is kind of grating on my nerves at some point but i'm willing to forgive it i just the way she writes is so interesting four stars for unravel me so the next one i'm gonna read is fracture me which i think follows adam i don't i don't know anything about it though i think it's in the front of the book here though the back of this book says that fracture me will um help me to discover the fate of omega point and experience the final moments of this book from adam's perspective i don't I don't really know if I care about Adam's perspective that much. But literally everywhere I've looked has told me that I need to read the series this way. So I'm going to take my makeup off, wash my face, get ready for bed. And then I'm going to read some of Fracture Me. I'd like to read the whole thing tonight, but it's already 11, 12. And I was tired like two hours ago. So imagine how I feel right now. I just really want to jump in to ignite me. Like I'm so excited to see what happens next, so. Oh, this one's only 63 pages. Okay, I should probably be able to read Fracture Me tonight. Those are the plans. I'm so excited to continue the series and I, I can't wait to see what happens next. So yeah, that's that for tonight. I will talk to you tomorrow morning.
so it is the next day and I finished Fracture Me this morning. Yeah, it was so, it was a really quick read. We did see that Omega Point did indeed get blown to smithereens, so may she rest in peace. Um, meh. <laughs> I still don't really love Adam as a character, but I feel like this definitely helped. I really liked seeing the relationship that he has with his brother and how much that he cares for James, and it was really so wholesome, honestly. Also, this is a side note, but the fact that his brother calls him Addy is just precious. I can't get over it. So I really liked that, and I do like the fact that he prioritized James over Juliet. So far he's been like really intense with his emotions towards Juliet and it's been a lot but seeing him like step back from that and realize like I need to keep my brother safe no matter what. I respect that so much. Overall I liked the character development that went on in this very short book but I didn't care that much about the plot. So maybe I did like this. I guess the more I talk about this, the more I realize that I really did like this and what it's done for my opinion of Adam. That's that. I'm, I'll probably give it a four stars, to be honest. Anyway, I have decided that I do indeed need to complete my set of physical copies for the trilogy. So I'm gonna go pick up Ignite Me before I start it so I can read it physically. I wasn't loving Unravel Me in the beginning, but once we got towards the end and like the action started happening, I'm very into it now and I really want to own physical copies of all three of them. I'm not gonna go buy the novellas just because they were okay, but like not amazing, but I'm really starting to love the series and I really want to have a physical copy of the third one, like I've said like three times now. So I'm gonna go back to Barnes and Noble because I think they have it in stock now. Hopefully, that's what the internet has told me, although it also told me that the first time. So, we will see. We will see if they actually have it, and I'm excited to go do more book shopping. <laughs> like I needed that, but it's fine. <laughs> so let's go. Second time's a charm. It is now time for me to start Ignite Me. It's also a lot later. It's like four now and I was really planning to start this when I got back, sorry. I let the kittens into my room. And that is not for you. I let the kittens into my room while my mom cleaned some stuff downstairs and they're so annoying already. It's only been five minutes. Okay, it's time to get into it. my phone for like three seconds and one of the only pieces of media that I managed to see in that three seconds was a TikTok about Aaron Warner. I have read up to page 63 of Ignite Me so far and I love it and I'm glad that I don't hate Warner anymore because if I did I would be hating this book because nothing has been happening aside from just like conversations between him and Juliet. I always find the conversations and back and forth between Juliet and Warner to be very interesting. Even when I didn't like him, it was always just like entertaining. We're also learning even more things that point in the direction of Warner not being quite the psycho that I thought he was. There was this like simulation in the first book where Juliet thought she had hurt another like actual human child, but turns out it was a simulation. You know, still not great that he did that, but at least he's not completely insane. Right now, I think they're about to leave base, which is where he took her back to. And it's really funny because she was trying to figure out how she got into the base and it turns out he carried her in in a body bag and I was screaming. It's not funny, but <laughs> Juliet has demanded to go see Omega Point because she wants to make sure that like nobody is there and alive. And I feel like they're either going to be spotted or they're going to spot somebody and I'm excited to read more. Things are, things are getting good. I'm, things are, hello, do you want to come up? These two have been keeping me company while I've read these last uh, 60 pages. They've been acting wild, but then they took a 20 minute nap and then they're back to acting wild. So that's always fun. Okay, so I'm now on page 163 of Ignite Me. And when I tell you I am loving this book so far, honestly, 
like nothing's happened. No action, no plot advancement has gone on and I love it. It's like, honestly, it's like I've been reading a soap opera for the last 150 pages, the drama that has ensued. The screaming matches in front of, oh my God, Juliet and Adam got into like a screaming match in front of like eight other people and I was dying the whole time. Literally, I was embarrassed for them, but I was also eating it up because like the drama, oh my God, it was so entertaining. I, <laughs> I'm having such a good time reading this book right now, oh my God. I think Juliet has finally realized that Adam is not the man for her, thank God, because he was being very rude to her. I know he's going through some stuff. I know they're all going through some stuff, but he's just salty because he knows that Juliet doesn't want him anymore. And I love that for her. That's that. I feel like I might be able to finish this tonight just because I'm so into what is happening right now. I love the drama. And then also in these last couple chapters I have read, Kenji has been talking to her about all this stuff and he is such a good friend and I just love him and I love their friendship so much and these characters, man, these characters. I will talk to you guys after I've made more progress. It's like three seconds later. Adam needs to like go somewhere. I mean, I know it's his house. So like maybe, but that's not the point. The only reason he's being so mean to Juliet is because he's upset that he knows she's gonna choose Warner over him. He has a right to be hurt, but he doesn't have a right to take it out on her like this. And he said, I don't give a shit anymore. Go drop dead. Verbatim. What is this? What? I t oh. Not into it. Not into it. It's like three more seconds later. <laughs> and this man just keeps digging himself into a hole. He literally said, I was happier when I thought she was dead. Boy, I just feel like there are some things you cannot come back from and maybe that's one of them. Why is he so- oh my Oh my god! He is throwing a very large hissy fit right now and I am over it. He's a grown- okay man, is he a grown man? He's 18, he's a grown man, he needs to get over it. I just- oh my god. I know it's like the heat of the moment and he like probably doesn't- well I mean I, I don't think he means it. I mean it's just- oh. Oh, I hate him. Mm. And look at that. She's she's clicking the clicker that, um, what's his name? Warner gave her. So literally by being like so rude and verbally abusive to her, she he's driving her right back to Warner. I mean, come on, man. Nice. <laughs> I said it like 10 minutes ago. Sorry, I'm like, it's really hot in my room right now. So like, I'm sweating. But he said it's like a soap opera. That's literally what I just said. Like five minutes ago, I said it's like reading a soap opera. But with worse acting, I'm screaming. Oh my God, this is, this is too funny. I'm getting too excited about this, but it's so funny. Honestly, I love how bluntly honest Warner is. He's mean, but I, I can respect the honesty. It's later. I am now on page 253 and the soap opera antics continue. It is, oh my God. I feel like nothing has happened in this book aside from just like drama and like relationship drama and I'm so into it. <laughs> so Kenji and a bunch of other people have come to stay on base with Warner and Juliet, but Adam stayed behind with James because he and Juliet got in a fight. But then Kenji wanted Adam to come to base with them. So Kenji told Adam that Juliet has been, you know, missing him. She still loves him. She's crying over him when she's just like over Adam and trying to work through her feelings for Warner. And it's so funny. Like, I want to be pissed at Kenji for doing this, but it's just hilarious. And I want to see how this backfires because I think it's going to be very entertaining for me. So that's honestly it. Like literally no plot development. 
it. Well, I guess they made a plan to go take out Warner's dad. But who cares about that? I'm here for the relationship drama. <laughs> So, ooh, what was that noise? So, I just finished Ignite Me. I'm gonna give it a five stars. There was no doubt about that. I've done such a terrible job at updating um, throughout this book. I think I've updated once. I was honestly just so into the story. I could not put it down, um, even to update. <laughs> For that, I apologize. I loved it though. I do think that um, the ending is very easy like it wasn't super action-packed or anything and it all happened very easily i don't even care there's a happy ending in this book but i'm incredibly intrigued to see how the second half of this series goes because there's three other books so i don't know what that's about but i'm obviously gonna start reading them asap because i need more juliet and Aaron content oh my god these two have a chokehold on me like right now i can't i can't even deal with it just the way my feelings have changed towards warner Aaron, whatever you want to call them is insane because literally when i first started reading shatter me i was like ugh, no but now i'm like one of my new favorite love interests yes yes i think so crazy how the world works isn't it literally i love him so much it's like 11 45 and i always manage to finish series like late at night and then i get in my feels about the fact that i finished the series because i like i know it's not the end of the series because there are three other books but the way this wraps up it's like the series is over and it makes me sad like i finished the Infernal Devices late at night. I finished the Akatar, like the original trilogy late at night. Oh, I finished um, Crooked Kingdom late at night. Like, I don't know what it is. But I finished them at like 11.30, 11.45. And then I'm like, well, I can't go to sleep now. There's just no way. Also, maybe like 11.45 is not late for you, but it's late for me. Um, I will definitely talk more in depth about the book tomorrow. But as of right now... I loved this last book so much. Easily my favorite out of the three. I'm obsessed with it. I can't get over it. I mean, obviously I can't get over it. I literally read the last page like five minutes ago, but just wow. I, uh, I think I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, it is finally time to wrap up the vlog. So obviously I have finished all five books that I was planning to finish. And I managed to do it in four days instead of five days. So an even bigger accomplishment for me. Can we get a round of applause? Thank you. I've kind of wrapped up my thoughts on Ignite Me. There wasn't much to say because it's kind of just character work until the end of the book, which I really didn't mind. I gave it a five stars. I loved ignite me so much the other four books i read were good i just didn't like them as much as ignite me the thing that i can see that really changed is the love interest got less infuriating <laughs> i love romances in my books like that's just how it is and if there is a romance in a series i'm reading i probably will end up liking it more which I think is what happened with this one because the plot is like okay. It's not bad and it's like kind of interesting but it's not really what makes me like this series so much. It's you know pretty well fleshed out at least in the first couple books but it's not like I would recommend anybody read this series based on like how good the plot is. It's okay but it's just like not amazing but the addition of the romance I was into. Also, it was pretty light on the love triangle, which I appreciated. I kind of just really started to dislike Adam and I figured he was going to end up with Warner, so it really wasn't a big deal. But I love the like hate to love kind of thing that they had going on, and I always love a good hate to love moment in books. Top tier books. Overall, the character work was amazing. I, however, I do feel like Adam's character development was neglected. After Juliet got with Warner, it was kind of just like. 
by Adam. And I know the book is only told in Juliet's perspective, so it makes sense that like you wouldn't see much of Adam after they broke up. But I feel like that man just fell off the face of the earth. And it's not that I'm complaining, but I feel like it didn't really do much for my opinion of him. Reading which one was it? Fracture Me did help and I see like why he's not in the story as much because he's looking after his brother James which I do respect but at the same time I feel like his character development even the first couple books was kind of eh, flat in my opinion. I don't know like that's not the point. It doesn't really matter. I feel like the love triangle could have been better executed had you gotten better work with Adam. You know I don't know. <laughs> Because I feel like you got like a lot of background for Warner, but like not so much for Adam. I don't know. I do, however, think it's really funny to see how my opinion of Warner has changed over the course of this video. Because I was going back and editing the first couple of days and I was adamantly against him. And I look like a hypocrite now, but that's just where we are. I, I blame Tahira Mafi for making me think he was such a monster. That's what she wants you to think. And I fell into the trap, but... Overall, I thought these three books specifically, not the novellas because they are very short and kind of just character focused, but the plot in the first couple of these is really fast paced. It's really fun. It does slow down in the third, but again, like, I don't really mind. As for the novellas, because I feel like I've mainly just been talking about these three books, I liked the novellas, and I know if I were to go back and read Warner's novella now, I would probably give it a higher rating. But at the time, I was still like a Warner auntie, so I wasn't having it, but I might go back and read it again at some point. Like I want to reread the series anyway at some point because I just want to read it through like that different lens and Warner not being like a terrible person. So maybe I'll like it more then, but I was just, I just did not like his character at the time. But Adams is okay. Again, like the novellas didn't really do it for me. Obviously, like the main books are the best, but... I really liked Tahira Mafi's writing style. I feel like it's just so different to anything I've ever read in like a YA book. It is just very interesting and there's so many metaphors being used. There's so much, it's kind of lyrical in the way that it's written and there were a couple lines where I was just like, oh, wow. I know I talked about this briefly earlier in the video, but I really like the way that Juliet's writing changes over the course of the book and how the strike throughs go away. Now she starts writing out numbers. I remember when I first noticed that a number was like written out instead of like written as that number, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was just like kind of interesting because I, I hadn't noticed it up until that point. I was like, wow. This is like symbolizing it. It was just so cool. Like you already know what I mean. It's just so cool. There's so many other things that I could potentially say about this series, but this video is already like an hour long. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you go. If you've made it to the end of this video, literally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And do let me know down below, which is your favorite out of the first three? Obviously because these are the only ones I've read. Or do you like any of the other books in this series more. I haven't heard great things about the rest of this series, but I am for sure gonna read it soon. So I'll be interested to see what I think, and I really want to know what you guys think, so do let me know. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.